just sure. talking about how I found um, Aaron Rodgers attractive, and I always have. Um, to which you said, "Is it because he'd what be if, mean to you? Because of what? Is it because he looks like he'd be mean to you? D- is he mean? I, I he'd don't be think like that's... indifferent to you. Like you'd feel worthless. He wouldn't like spit in your face. Um, no, he he wouldn't spit in my face. But he um, he has turned into an Ohio boy, so he feels very California." Northern California. He right. feels very comfortable to me right. now right. that he's like not taking the vax, right? Growing the hair out, yeah. doing all these things. Like now he feels like home. Okay. okay. And no, I'm not going to shit on anybody. All right. Ever. All right, look, hey, okay? I, I, I'm i just asking. I um, watch all types of porn and that is a, not one of them. Put a single on Bob. They're doing Bob dirty today. Um, Bob is white. Oh, wow. And that is, he is, I mean, they're blasting him out there today. What I, I like is that he doesn't care. I like, there's care. a, uh, I'm, I'm there's a, white a man. there's a confidence. <laughs> yeah. There's, oh, there we go. There we go. This is the whole rest of the show. Yeah. Just this. This is the way Aaron Rodgers is walking in this video that we're going to show. Yep. It's the way I feel about my skin tone every day. God damn it. Georgia, some look at what it? he did. It's he some went, fucking confidence. What are you on? Like twelve hundred on? Yeah, ISO? you just white balance on me. Just put a fucking full keno right oh, on. Him, ooh, you know? See what ooh, happens. yeah. Oof, Bob, my God. Those, yeah, those blue eyes nope, though. No, nope. but Bob's an attractive man, and you're you're making him you're dirty, and I, you're doing Bob dirty today. You're doing yeah. Bob dirty. Yeah, don't care. Um, but as much as we we have don't shit care. Now on, he's red. yeah, now he's red. <laughs> as much as we have shit on Aaron Rodgers. Uh, you do one cool thing on the internet, sure. and all of that washes away. So mm-hmm. yesterday on Drinking Bros Sports, uh, on the recap show, uh, I believe we called him loser uh, maybe 15, 20 different times. Okay. Uh, he'll never no- win another championship. He only cares about himself, oh, sure. everything else, speak blah, 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 yourself, blah. Yeah. Uh, r- yeah, Exactly. Uh, I'll speak for Dan and I, Holloway. Okay. Dan and I, Holloway, and I. And then he does something like this today. This is how he showed up at training camp for the Green Bay Packers today. And I've forgotten about everything I said yesterday. I want to apologize for all of it. You win. I'm all in. And this made me excited for football season. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, the NFL should buy this video as an NFT or whatever the fuck they're doing and just play this as the opening trailer for, for Welcome to Football. Let's play this right now. I mean, look oh. at that. Now, there was sound. So. Yeah, there was sound. They, they, the, somebody has I muted mean. it on Twitter. Um, but that is Nick Cage from Con Air, <laughs> a.k.a. Cameron Poe. And that's how he showed up at training camp today. Looks great, by the way. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Whatever the fuck he's doing with Aubrey Marcus out in the woods, good on him, dude. That's the best he's ever looked, I think. He's doing the same thing everybody does with Aubrey Marcus out yeah. in the woods. Which is what? I mean, in. we don't talk about yeah. it, but it's just like a known, <laughs> it's sort of a known thing. It's an open secret. It's an open secret. Damn okay. It. Multiple variations of swinging. Yeah. yeah. Steel maces, wives. Damn it. Matter. Damn it. Damn it. Man. Holes Who are holes, right? You got to give it to him. I mean, this no, is I a know, fucking I championship it. move. I uh, so it. I woke up um, to this on, uh, I think it was Pat McAfee's Twitter this morning. Follow Pat McAfee. I thought, because Aaron Rodgers is on his show all the time, that maybe he just did this for McAfee's show or whatever. I was like, oh, no, 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 no. He did this for training camp for the Green Bay Packers. I was already excited about football season. Now I'm all in. Right. And it's because of this. And Aaron Rodgers, I apologize. I don't actually care if you win another Super Bowl the rest of your life because you did this video. And this is probably all we'll remember you for. I I don't even know if I'm going to remember the, the only Super Bowl win he has. This is it now. Right. Um, I could see him because he's so good. <laughs> Thank you for the side by side. But like, yeah, pop that up on the screen, Bob. Uh, so here's Nicholas Cage. So good. <laughs> now I would say because he looks so much like him, he could probably come as a different Nick Cage every day. Yeah. Don't you think? I just until he needs to stay in this until he says, "Put the bunny back." <laughs> yeah, yeah. He should he should have came with a bunny, right? Don't you think that would have really pushed it over the edge oh it's good Um, it's good damn it but yeah i think he's giving us a little glimpse into the fact of like you know maybe it's a wink i feel like that whole video was a wink i feel like i feel like i know you guys hate me i feel like this his life is at this point and maybe we got it all wrong maybe the tattoo was a wink too maybe i'm doing the most yes 
like ridiculous yeah. shit. performance art. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and and yeah. I, I, like I it, this made me re-question my entire life today. It really sure. did. That maybe I got it all wrong except for one thing. I think when you're rich and you have this much money mm-hmm. and you just check out and you want to do all this fucked up weird shit in life uh, and then you come back and you bring it all back around to this mm-hmm. You win, and that's the point of being rich, is so that you can do shit like this and be like, well, I don't really fucking care. And I know all of you dummies will forget about everything uh, that you've said about me over the off season, and I can just pop up this one video and, and just lean into to the not only the bit, but the life. I think Delco's the one who said this. Eventually, you become the bit. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, in, in life, and, and yes, I, I think he's probably right. I don't even think I, I have a, a addendum to, to Dan's. Eventually, you become the bit. Okay, go ahead. I think we just need to drop the eventually now, because it's happening at fucking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You will, whether whether by your hand or Twitter's hand, you will become the character. Right. Yeah. That you are and then, pretending to be or you joking. You can pull out. what I do, and just say everything's a bit, but it's a defense mechanism. <laughs> yeah. And you actually want to become. Yeah. Yes. 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 <laughs> Sometimes Delco gets a little vulnerable. He had a really scary thing happen this weekend. So he's it, like, he's kind of rethinking life and he's very vulnerable these days. It's I think he's the greatest being story ever. And I chatted, I was here uh, working on Saturday and he popped in and scared the shit out of me. And then he told me this story and mm. I cried with laughter. I, it's awful that he went through it. I don't know if you want to share it and I'm not going to force you to do it on the show. Um, but if you want to, you can. He shared it on softcore. I don't know if this is a good way to like push people softcore to history? that show. Sure. But um, will you tell the story now? If I tell everybody to go and download softcore history, rate and review it. Sure. Okay. Great. Got a great episode on Hitler and the Pope. Great. You yeah. guys just did your hundredth episode too, 100th right? Hundredth episode. Yeah. Uh, Hitler and the Pope. We also have uh, really good content coming out Wednesday, but we have uh, forty episodes deep on the Patreon. Great. patreoncom slash history. Uh, where I actually tell this story in detail, but I, I will give you an cliff, abbreviated version for it. The God. Cliff Notes version. Yeah. Uh, so Friday night, went out with a young lady. It's already got, going slow. I know. <laughs> Speed it up, buddy. Got some steaks. I'm just some kidding. Whiskey. No, no, no. Yeah. Well, I was born. You guys said you yeah. you would whiskey <laughs> with this lady. Notes yeah. Involves this, the meal. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> yeah. You're really going into a lot of detail. Let's go. I you thought it was going to be quick. You whiskey with the lady. Yeah. Okay. Steak, whiskey. She's cool. That's Any cool. lady that drinks whiskey. Establishing this is not a first date. Okay. Not a first date. A first she date. drinks whiskey, which means she gets fucked up because no lady that drinks whiskey doesn't. Carry on. Yep. Uh, you know, get to the point of a, like, we're pretty inebriated. Sure. Uh, to the point where I'm like, ah, you know, tonight it's not going to happen for me, but it might happen for her. Right. So, so you did what you had to do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And we, um, we applaud. Yeah. I mean, we could applaud. But we, we, we could applaud, uh, but then tell, tell the audience what happened to you. All right. So uh, she's on top. Um, <laughs> I am obviously laying down. And uh, all of a we sudden. We spent more time on the meal. Sorry. Go <laughs> ahead. <laughs> it's a she's on, whatever. She's on top. It's like that's what we really wanted to hear. But OK, whatever. She's on top. Whiskey dick is working because you're making it work. Yeah, you have it's, no it's, pressure. It's good whiskey dick. I know I'm not going to come. but like, Sure. But you're going to like figure it out for her. Right. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, feel something in the back of my throat, and uh, I can't breathe. So her pearl earring, which I think is important because she's not sixty, no. right? No, uh, but was it a real pearl? No, no, okay, okay. no, it Thank was God. from Claire's or something. Thank but God. okay, but um, the, it's what a it's what a fourth <laughs> grader gets her ear pierced. Yeah, with. yeah, yeah. Sure. Right, you know, well, just big enough. Me, fuck face. Just big <laughs> enough. But anyways, it goes in your throat. Yep. Lodge's so, pointy <laughs> side of the earring is now in your throat. Yep. You're gagging. Well, we're, we're start, we realize it had fallen out of her ear, and then I am, yeah, starting to choke, uh, starting to turn a little blue. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. And, but, and your dick is still inside her at this point. Her earring is fall, she, it no. fell off into your mouth. Mm-hmm. No, he, now that you can't, no, you didn't pull out, right? Like, uh, you kept no, going. No, now no, that you no, can't no. breathe, are you getting closer? Uh, so I get up <laughs> off the bed, and I'm starting to choke, and I'm, like, trying to give myself the Heimlich. She starts shoving her fingers down my throat, like, trying yes. to pull And your, your penis Sexy. is still inside of her? Sexy. No. <laughs> okay. I did not. It's not like riding the bull where I was just hanging on. No. <laughs> Okay, okay. So you guys are both now trying to save your life. You're puking. Yep. Earrings not coming up. Yep. But you're just 
puking. She has her fingers down your throat. Oh, you're boy. gagging. I'm gagging, and I'm starting to get a little phlegm out, but it's not dislodging. Uh, eventually, it does, but to the point where uh, I swallow it. Perfect. Yep. And we still have not found this this ear. Yeah, the earring you, has not emerged. Shit out the earring yet? I no, it was just a yet. couple days ago. I think it's still stuck in there. You think it's inside your body? It's lodged in, in there? Yeah, it's, I might have to go to the doctor. This Where clears... else you might have to go to the doctor. You already have needed to go to the doctor. You're just delaying it. At this yeah, point. you've got a full earring inside you, my man. 